Okay, here's a lot that just came in that I'm not real excited about. It's one of two from the same seller, but only one was delivered. And I ordered this like three weeks ago. Yeah. Cheap though, four pounds DIY, 4.4 pounds repurposed. And I don't even know which one this is. One of them, I don't even know why. No. And the other one, there was like one cool little watch thing that looked cool to me. Since it's so small, I'm going to put it in a smaller tub. Let me show you. And you know, anything good will be just fantastic because I have zero expectations. I thought I had an 11 pound lot coming and then another small one from this seller, but what are these little tennis balls? The little tennis ball beads. It's pretty funny. The bag will be for now for trash. I don't know what to do with the tennis balls. I'll just keep everything sort of. Oh, oh there's Travis. You see my big belly. The peacock. No. Oh. This one's marked. It's worn to shit it. It's worn. Worn, worn, worn. Uh, just for shits and giggles. It's a small lot. Shouldn't take long. Good. I'm stuck in the car. No. Hmm. Interesting. I could be wrong. C R T now. Cartex? Cartex? No, K? C A R T E K? Cartex? Cartex. I'll show you how it's green and everything. I saw it over there. I'm tired. I haven't been up long. No, beautiful. Oh, my surgery, Let's see if they fix surgery. Maybe. Okay, this is what I liked, but it's a smart one. I didn't know. I just like a mesh situation. So, oh, oh it's huge. It must be for butterflies for a dude. Look at how huge that is. Come on. Is it a like a prison wrist anklet? <laughs> I love that I don't care about this lot at all. I'm not gonna, no good is gonna come of anything attached to a ribbon for me. It's otherwise I'd like it. It's very Betsy Johnson. Uh, because it is Betsy Johnson. It just, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how. It's vintage Betsy. And by vintage for vintage Betsy, like 10 years or more. It doesn't, it's not, Vintage Betsy is different than Vintage other people. I don't mind a thing like that. Soft leather is why I like it. It's real soft leather. It's real leather and real soft leather. And it's got like, I don't know if that's pink. Oh, I paid nothing for this lot. I think I paid eight dollars plus shipping and handling. And I did see this, and I love it. But I could also see that it was missing every stone on it. So, see, I mean, like, I should just count it for shits and giggles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. It's missing more than a thousand, probably. Cruisy, but it may not be cruisy. Yeah, it is cruisy. I call him cruisy. The J of the crew of the Z. Don't think they always have the um, life saver. 
clasp. They don't. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's missing. I'll see if it's in there. But again, if not, I'm going to put it in the trash pile because I don't want... I'm also going to put this... Whatever. This might go in crafting because it's cool. But if... Yeah, I guess somebody... No, because each panel has something that's in... I don't know. I've got lots for sale up right now. And I'm going to be selling lots more. Do people buy these anymore? Little beads. Muses. Thingy. Trash thingy. <laughs> Again, this came out to be in like 20. And I have that necklace that kind of goes... No. Oh, try and take yourself into it, Gina. Don't do it. It takes two to make a thing go right. Got that song in my head. That's too bad. But this is broken because I like this because I love a heart. Oh, it's not broken, Gina. Shut the fuck up. Shut the F up. I'm trying to get monetized. And no, I'm not making fun of anybody for saying that. I'm just making a joke because, like, I don't think I could. <sighs> I'm kind of an F bomber, but I like to think of myself is more intelligent than that, but sometimes the F word is just the only word that'll do. A tiny, pretty little choker. Vintage. With hearts. And I think that's in good enough shape. I mean, I can, I'll pay for this lot somehow, by hook or by crook. By hooky or by crooky. Lariat style. I'm not horribly mad at it. I mean, somebody will pay. I just sold two things. One was a like an old karaoke, karaoke sound, song book. And I mean old, like from the 70s or early 80s. And I bought it at the thrift store, probably Angel View, I don't know, over a year ago, I'm guessing, for like a dollar. And I'm like, this is just a cool thing. It was vinyl and it had like the, you know, like a tech, not a textbook, like a binder. And I thought some nerd is gonna want this, right? So I put it up for 40 because I just saw no comps, had no idea what to ask. And it sat there and sat there. And just recently, or many times over, I've sent offers to buyers like at the ha at half price, like $19.99 instead of 40 No takers. Today I woke up and sold for full price at 40 So you just never know. And the same little angel. I need to do another angel lot. I have one right now that doesn't sell, so I don't know why I need to do another one. But anyhow. Um... I'm going to just quickly toss all these. We really need to stop putting this garbage in pots. Just throw it in the trash, people. Just throw it right in the trash. There's no need to go any further. These, I don't mind the color, but they're poorly strung and they're just garbage. Um, oh, and then a little Russian box. It sold for 15 It sold today. It's a little tiny lacquer Russian box. I'd probably pay two or three. And then, like, I didn't get that for a dollar. It finally sold for the full 15 but the reason I bring it up is I had sent offers out on that many times for like 10 I think on that one somebody countered me at 7 I'm like and then I got an offer on these Miss Me jeans that I've had forever but I paid $8 you know they weren't if no, no more of these um, this is leather be used for crafting. It doesn't feel like quality leather, but it's leather. So, somebody sent me an offer for, I think, 10. And I shot back 15, and I don't know if we're going to get them. Part of me just wants them gone, and the other part of me doesn't want to lose money, and at 10, I lose money. Because I paid, like, 8 plus tax, and then with fees. I mean, I might sort of squeak by and break even, but I just get stubborn sometimes, like... They're in a tub. I don't see them. I don't need them gone that bad. Somebody else. And that was from, I think, my $30 best offer. So, $10 offer. Nope. Again, I've had those forever and ever. And ever and ever. I don't know what's happening. Okay, there's an earring. Attached. As they always are. And like I said, yeah, I didn't see anything good in this lot. And, I, and honestly, I didn't even know I bid on it. So I must have bid on it and went away and then came back and there it was. Because I did that with two of their lots. I was like, oh, I won that? Okay. And again, only seven ninety nine, dollars so no harm, no foul. This is weird. I don't hate it, but it's like these are kind of poopy and 
been falling apart. Oh, I have my purple lipstick on today. Can you see it? My sister is a, did they tell you she's an extreme pooper? Extreme open. So, she always has shit. She always sends it to me. Which I appreciate. Okay, all this. Again, these should never be in lots either. But I'm telling you, you know, well, I mean, people must know these are junk, but like that recent turquoise Navajo the turquoise isn't Navajo but the big massive opal sterling pendant is um, opal and sterling whatever they just put 925 sterling mystery lot and the other piece is 925 um, what you call it turquoise artisan one Breaks it apart. That's my point. Oh, that not every seller knows what they have. Because to not mention, even just even mention 925 turquoise, and you'll get a whole bunch of hits and a whole bunch of bids. Or 925 opal. Just either of those people. I mean, yay for me. It flew under the radar, and that's why I got it so cheap. But I don't know. This thing doesn't want to turn around. It's just a vintage, delicate, like little. Snowflakey, silver tone, Fendi. I love the people in the groups, the armchair experts. Like uh, somebody commented on the opal one, and they're not being mean or anything. They were just like, "Oh, that, that, that particular necklace. That looks like it's, it could be halite or something else." I'm like. What? Huh? Anyways, somebody else said, oh, looks like lab opals. And I'm like, and lab opals are okay. Lab opals can be expensive, but Native Americans now, the modern ones, yes, they use lab opals, but I've either had real opals or doublets or triplets. And, and that's not even the point. The point is, if you look at those opals, first of all, a lab opal is like perfect why they're created. They, they're they like a cultured pearl. They take as long, the artist, not the artist, really, but the science and all the shit that goes into a lab oval. And they just those just started getting made in the mid-70s. They haven't been around forever. So if a piece is earlier, it's not a lab oval. Anyways. Yeah. I must have a lab oval here somewhere. A lab oval is going to be perfect. You're going to see it in the fire and you're going to just, it's going to be like, you know it when you see it. The two opals that are in this piece, they look like triplets or doublets to me because it looks like they've been resined over. They're far from perfect, like in any way. And I'm not saying one is better than the other or one is better than the other have. I'm just saying like, just sometimes people in their... And some people will say it like it's fact. And for me, like, I'll know like, well, no, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. But other new people and stuff, they don't know. And it's like, just quit saying, just quit stating things as fact that you just have no idea. And other people were like, oh, that's Sleeping Beauty on the other one, on the turquoise non-Native American. And it's like, that is so not Sleeping Beauty, guys. Come on. Fuck. Uh, it's just annoying. They see it like a semi-Robin's egg blue piece of turquoise and it's all Sleeping Beauty. Because no, it's not. <laughs> Am I being just a bitch? Do you want to know, guys? Sleeping Beauty, the only the only matrix you'll ever see in Sleeping Beauty, or that was naturally occurring in the mountain. If you want to see the mountain, Google Sleeping Beauty Mountain, Arizona. She looks like a Sleeping Beauty. She looks like she has long hair and her look. It's really pretty. That's why it's called that. But anywho, there is no gold in them there mountains. There's Pyrex. It's just pirates. It's not fool's gold. Anyway. The, and I don't like Sleeping Beauty. By the by. And not for nothing. And 
I don't mean to be whatever. The reason I don't like Sleeping Beauty is because I like a matrix. I like a lot of matrix. I love like a veiny gold matrix or I love a green turquoise. And like my mom had a Sleeping Beauty ring. She got it like Broadway, if you remember that department store in the 1970s, gold. And it was pretty, the ring was pretty. It had Sleeping Beauty turquoise. And the reason they use that is because it's nice and like everybody like, it's just, I hate to say generic commercial how about that it's very commercial because sleeping beauty is almost painless most of the time you don't have to have anybody that's like yeah what's what's that black dye so it was very commercially used and very all by the big all big all all used by all the big designers etc again that's not why i don't like it it's just i like i like imperfections and i think of veining kind of as imperfections you know and just cool so, and you know, Robin's egg, it's pretty. It's just not my favorite, it's not my favorite color blue. These are cute. So, please stop saying everything is Sleeping Beauty. And I think that people want everything to be Sleeping Beauty because the mine closed like 10 years ago-ish. So, it's mined out. Um, Sleeping Beauty though was always popular. When I was a kid, it was popular. But it's also very faked. It's the most faked because it's the easiest to fake because there's no veins. So you can just plastic it up or, you know, do all kinds of things to this. Oh, that looks real. I'm only keeping this because it's vintage. That's, God, it's sort of, is that peach or orange? Oof, it's a hard one. What is it? It's not quite pink. It's not quite orange. It's not quite peach. Is there a word for that? So that's my turquoise lesson for the day. But yeah, I love a vein. I'm wetting the veinier the better. Oh, and so back to the piece that I got in that lot that I don't have yet. It came with the oval piece, the artisan piece of turquoise. Oh, Sleeping Beauty. Don't know what it is. I kind of know Bisbee a little bit. It's not Bisbee. Um, but it's... And the rock, too. The rock that... Um, Sleeping Beauty forms on or whatever, it's like white. It's not brown, it's weird. It's like white. Looks like whatever white looks like, the white rock. So, you're not gonna get a piece of um, Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> get the name, what the hell? That's, in the one that I got, it's, hello? Huh? You got two what? Sure. We're just doing a little video, but sure, I'll take one. Thank you. Love you. I can't hear you. You can talk. It's all fine. I should probably eat. I've only been up for hmm, not long, kids. Having bad health. Um, I did interrupt my train of thought. Sleeping Beauty. Oh, it's a white base rock. Um... Okay, it's broken. I spent all the time to tell you this is broken. And you say craft lot, and I say nobody buys my craft lots. Not you guys. Everybody else in the world. So the one that I am getting back to it, the artisan one. It's not Native American. It's just artisan. Somebody, somebody made it, and it's a it's a cool thing, and it's got all sterling, whatever. Ah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm just set it there, you creeper. It's fine. You can be. You can bring it right over here, and you won't be in film. He's a camera shy. Oh, oh shit. Hmm? Shh. Shh. Thank you. I won't eat it quite yet, but thank you. We're tuna eaters, even though it kills you. We want to die, die, die. Tuna's really bad for you. We eat a lot of it. White albacore is worse. This is not white albacore. So there's that. Um, <laughs> dear forever. So, little gypsy, tramps, and thieves. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. Um, you can still say gypsy. The gypsies claim themselves a gypsy. Just don't say jip people. Don't say she gypped me. It's like saying Jew you down. Not 
No. Ah, uh, that's not hard, no. There's still a, they're a group of people and they're out there and just because they may not live next to you and you don't know them doesn't mean they want to hear themselves being jipped referred to in a racial slur. Um, oh, that's a pretty little earring. <laughs> I'm laying down with my turquoise around. I feel like I am. It's pretty. It's just rhinestone. It's made by... I don't think it matters because there's not two, but I'll keep looking because I've been wrong before when there's one or two and... Uh, um... Yeah, so... People mean well, and don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to, I'm really not trying, I don't know, it's got two, it's got two names, but I just thought it was, it's especially pretty, that's why I bothered to get my thing out in the first place, but in, you know, um, yeah, so you're not going to see, <laughs> keep going, Sarah Cove, got to love, I don't, got to love her, did Sarah Cove ever make any, a-line jewelry? Um, that's a serious question. I don't think she did. Unlike Monet and Trafari and those who made A-line beautiful. Some of their pieces were magnificent. I've never had one, but I've seen them. I, like I said before, I get all the D-level jewelry. Those modern 70s whatever crap jewelry from Monet. Um, and you guys, why are you putting up with me today? I almost didn't do this, but I thought I might have, theoretically, I just have two more lots coming. Maybe they're not coming, because this is all I got, and one was from the same seller. Anyways, back to turquoise. Mm -hmm. The one I got has, like, a brown base rock. No cool webbing, just a brown base rock. Like, they took the best part of the turquoise, shipped it away from that brown rock. And again, yeah. I'm not trying to be like, oh, these people are so stupid, mean, dummies. I'm just trying to say, like, don't go in those groups and act like you know what you're talking about. Not for my sake. You know, although it could be, it could be on something else that I don't know as much about. And I, and I take the word for somebody in there, and it's like... I liked one guy that commented, he said... He, he thought it looked like this, he goes, but I'm no expert. It's like, just, just add that. Just add that. That's all you need to do. But I'm no expert. Just don't mislead people. New people that don't have. There's so many people. Peoples. There's so many. There's so many people. Yeah, people in those groups that don't know shit from shine ola. Like, I mean, I see posts that are like, or this is a serious question, and I I know that sounds mean, but I'm just saying. So then you get somebody some armchair expert telling these newbies that know don't know shit from Shinola and they believe them. And then nobody learns and it's just stupid. I like learning. I like being educated on everything. So anytime I don't know something you want to make a comment like if I'm wrong about something how dare you. I wanted to fight this out. I mean, I love a heart. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but it's just on a broken bracelet, I think. Again, seven ninety nine. I knew this lot was shit. I was not looking forward to it. I wished I never bid on it. This just look like sterling to me. They're on this. These look like sterling that are on this. Whatever this is, and I don't have a magnet. I ordered one. I can't even find my regular magnet. So what I'll do is cut this off. Could be wrong about the sterling. Can't do a quick check because I don't have a magnet. Did I put it? Maybe I found it. Put, nah. Mm. Peace on earth. That's really cute. I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to see if I can find my magnet. Magnet? Is everything going to be eight? Oh, yeah. I got a little magnet. I'll save you now. Cut. Yeah, I thought so. Not my So back to cutting it off. Sterling is usually, especially, uh, what do you call it, sterling? Tarnished. That's a certain look. Not that 
I just like the one that says something about Earth. It's a little Earth. Even if it's not sterling, I like it. Is this the one? Yeah. I a little, like, like a little peace sign. Let's see. A little peace sign, and then it says something Earth. <laughs> I can't read it. Oh. I'll get this guy off. And this one's just kind of whatever it is. What did it say again? Or did it, what was this thing on it? Oh, a G. <laughs> oh, thank you for your payment. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, G. G there. No, oh, that's funny. So, yeah, I'll stop ranting. Maybe. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. And I guess I would also say, if you have something specific, vintage jewelry, turquoise, whatever. Oh, and then I've heard people tell people what kind of pearls they have. And, again, opals or jade. Or say, yeah, that's real. And it's like, because if you're not a gemologist, and I've had gemologists say, I can't tell by a picture. So you've got these, whoever they are, trying to be I don't know if they're even trying to be helpful or just trying to be know-it-alls that know nothing that are just making these ridiculous comments that are dead wrong and I'm just sick of it so I was going to say if you have something specialized it helps to at least go to a specialized group it's vintage at least try a vintage jewelry group um or if it's Art Nouveau, you know, whatever. Go to, it's like going to a regular doctor and then going to a neurologist. You know, if you have something wrong with your brain, eh, regular doctor's not going to know much. Go to a neurologist. That's all I'll say. Do that with your jewelry. And don't, and take it to a jeweler. If it's something like a pearl, jade, mm, eh, it depends on the jeweler. But a pearl, opal, they know. So don't guess and don't put it up in certain groups and expect like what's happening here? <laughs> that was a cluster of two earrings that are fighting or some F word they're doing. Yeah. That's the thing. This is oh there's my other earring. Yay, little pretty. Yay, look I wonder if I could read it better now. Dang it, I can't. Something L and P. It's not part line. Oh, the other area. Look how pretty they are. They're just pretty. Let me try. It just bugs me. I, the worst I'm the worst at. The very worst. Like if you post something and say, oh, what does that say? It's like, I'm out. Because I can't. I can never. I'm reading it upside down to see if that'll help. Two or three little short letters, I think L or J, and then the second word starts with the. Never mind, it starts with the P or an R. P E A. I could be so wrong. Liz, but not Claiborne. P. Liz, P or R. R I S. R I A C I O? I have no idea. Anyways, I'm gonna find it to mate so I can mate them up. Um, yeah. Okay, I think I've ranted on about that one. I'll keep going though. That's, it's just, it's just, uh, it's not helpful. It's not helpful. And for me, I usually just ignore, like, I've got a, I got a lot of comments that said, oh, Sleeping Beauty, pretty, and it's like, I think I commented on one, like, no, it's, it's not Sleeping Beauty. In a nice way. Just so that other people wouldn't read it, like, it's not for my sake. And I didn't school them and say, like, why would you say that? What are you, stupid? <laughs> this is not, what do you call it, magnetic. Um, but I just needed to comment and say no. Hey, girl, hey. No. I'm not sleeping. Did I tell you I'm excited because I got CB? The big brother is back. 
Oh, yeah, I'm that girl. A reality TV whore. Not so much anymore. I say that, but I like like Survivor. I like Housewives of Beverly Hills. That's the only Housewives I watch. Um, okay, I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying to get this necklace loose. But I didn't think, I thought just Big Brother was a goner. Like, I get so immersed in Big Brother because their live feeds, like, I want to turn them on. I want to stop doing this, see what, what, what are they doing in there. And since I've been watching it, not, I'm not a lifer. I've only been watching it for eight to ten years. It's been on 21, two, a long time. Um, this is the 27th season. Oh, what was oh, so I got the CBS app, which is only $5.99 with commercials, but I got it without, because on the side I want to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Old, I've watched them all, but I want to watch them again. I don't want commercials, so I paid $9.99. First month is free. So, but then I got Apple TV, real excited, the app, not the TV. And then I realized, oh, Steve Jobs, Steve, 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 you can't cast it to your TV. Unlike Hulu, Amazon, crap, I mean, whatever, name them, they're all up there, right? Now, you gotta have Apple TV. That part of Steve just is so annoying to me. I know he's dead, rest in peace, Steve. I loved most of your shit, but I don't like your that proprietary thing. You can only watch it on this and you can only listen to it on that. Boo. So, anyway. I can watch it on my phone, but... And, like, I watch live feeds on my phone, but I'm not trying to watch a good TV show on my phone. Anyway, so I was real excited. Because I had heard nothing about Big Brother coming back. So it just all of a sudden was in my DVR and I'm like, then I thought, oh, maybe they're doing Celebrity, because that would be very easy for them. Well, you know, a lot easier than get wrangling. Because Celebrity Big Brother only lasts for a month. Regular, proper Big Brother lasts three months. And, you know, how are you going to audition, blah, blah, blah. Well, they did All-Stars, so they didn't have to audition, blah, blah, blah. Why am I spending so much time on this? I'm sure and certain that this chain is not gold. It's a pretty little locket. It's, you know, I opened one vintage locket. It was sterling, not gold. Not the same as, but anyways, I could, there was hair in it. I mean, dead persons. You know how they did. It was real, real, real old. It was black. Silver was black. I still have it. I just don't know. Do I... I should probably list it with the hair, right? Somebody would find that cool. You know, it's a Victorian thing, and maybe earlier, but... Like... Yeah gotta be maybe it's somebody's baby hair i mean i don't find it necessary why don't we go on the chain did i do that class was magnetic but now that means because there's so sorry i can tell you another story once upon a time this thing is i don't know i got i can't really see what i'm glad he gave me that sandwich but i'm feeling I'm starting to feel hungry is this Cutting out. This is just something that's wrapped around it. I don't know if I want to spend the day. Let me see if I can get any. I fell in love with the pretty ballerina. Was I surprised? Well, dang lock it with initials. <laughs> R. I can't even read old scroll. I think it's R M A. PMA, LMA, don't know. Yeah. It's bad. It's bad, bad, bad. Well, boo. I wanted the other lot to come. And I... I don't know. It said they were coming today. The other one from the seller and then the 11 pounder from another seller. We're all scheduled for today. It's early, but if they're not here yet, they're not coming. I don't think. Could be wrong. Oh my god, I can't with you guys. I'll just... I'll just put this over here, and I'll do it later. I'll test the locket for gold, and if it's not, I'll stop messing with it. I'm gonna show the locket. A little too tiny. Deeny, tiny, deeny, I get a million of these. <sighs> Yeah, 
so just uh You should. You would probably think we'll stay out of those groups. I don't list anything. I don't ask questions on anything that I know is like. That you know, don't bother to try and tell me because you're not gonna know kind of stuff. I don't do that. I mean, I yeah. And I'm just talking about the general groups. I'm not talking about specified groups like. You know, all jade. Yeah, I'll ask questions in there. Because there are some people that know their shit. These are really pretty. I was looking for the other. They're just silver tone, but they're peacock feathers. Yeah, that's a pretty thing. So, probably all in on this. I'm in, on, in for 20. And like I said, I don't even remember that I bid. I didn't see anything good. Good enough to bid on. This watch cheap. I can't even sell my cheap lot watches. Watch lots. I've tried. This one cracks me up. I might list this just because it's funny. Sita Sahan. Who's Sita Sahan? <laughs> I can't read anything. Sidra? Okay. Do you know who that is? for me. I thought at first like a dentist watch. Like, you know, get that for a dentist. Another world watch. I just tossed the other one. That I got a few days ago. Okay, I'm going to be done in a minute. So I can eat my two. My two in the sandwich. With the purple lipstick, which I should rub off. This does not feel like sterling. I mean, it does not even sort of have a sterling feel, vibe, anything. Oh. Maybe that's why it doesn't have a sterling. <laughs> oh, I should cut. Where is it? <sighs> hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know if that is, but I'll test it. That says 14k. It's still 14k. It just doesn't have a sterling look. It's too tiny. It's way too tiny for sterling. I mean, I know there's new sterling, but, and however, it just doesn't feel like sterling. <gasps> oh, you didn't we make me dad. Alright, can you see that? I'm a little daddy and a. Baby, I'm not a little baby over there. Well, I mean, he's not a baby baby. He's just a little guy. I don't know why that always makes me sad. It just does. Okay, yeah, that's, it says, I think it's 14, well, no, it says 14K. Is there something after that? Hmm. does, you know, the story of my life. I'll put it in a smaller. I thought I brought a smaller. No, maybe I didn't. Okay, I'll just... I hate to put gold and silver that needs to be tested. I used to try to put it aside, and I don't think I even did that. Um, and I probably won't do clickbait, because I don't like clickbait. You know what clickbait is? You must, right? I don't like when I see somebody's video and the title is like, 14 karat gold and silver. Oh my god. And then you go and you watch the video and it's like mine. Like, oh yeah. I mean, that's, that's cool that I found the 14 karat gold pendant. But, I don't know. I mean, is that clickbait worthy? The only time I... And I just do it when I'm being honest. Like, when I found that artesian lot that I loved. I put something like, oh my god, or whatever. Because I personally felt, oh my god, for that whole thing. And or that cool bracelet artesian lock. So I probably only do it for things where there's a lot of cool things in my opinion, you know? And other people might think, well, that's not even cool. 
That looks like sterling. It might not be, but it's the look I like. It's kind of like that. That might just be brass, but it's, I like it. And I hope there's another one because I'd like to sell it. I don't know what you call that. Oh, just a flower with a rhinestone, I guess. I'll put her over there. I can't really get through this. Like, this is this weird thing with all this sh weird shit hanging off of it. Yeah, I just wish that people would just be, just be more, not you guys, but if somebody tells you something on those generalized groups, don't believe it, good or bad, because I've, I've had, like, what if I believe that that, that, what if I believe them, what if I didn't know better that that piece isn't Sleeping Beauty, I mean, I guess no harm, no foul if I put it on eBay and I'm like, ooh, Sleeping Beauty, but you know how many, how many people would... <laughs> on ebay would message me and go ah no ah no you know what i mean like just yeah. okay i like these earrings but there's only they're bigger so i can see that there's only uh one one is the loneliest number that you'll ever do two can be as bad as one it's the loneliest number since so number one ah uh, Little Marcosite, kind of vintage, but Express LA, <laughs> Express LR Ass, A E S S. It's Marcosite. I don't know. I might put it in there because the leather band is nice. The leather band is real nice, actually. It's not a cheapy China, shitty poo poo kind of modern shit. I mean, it's probably 90s, 1990s, not 1890s, folks. Um, and yeah, I can eyeball certain things, and I'm pretty good on certain things. But I... Yeah, boo. I like these arrows. They're just common enamel, but... This one... Okay, here, I'll show you. I'll just do now. I like enamel. But this one isn't wanting to... When does this one close? I know fuck all about earrings anymore because I don't wear them, so they're more modern. Yeah, I don't know. This one isn't wanting to... I mean... I have one to compare it to, and this one just is like, no, we're done. We done. No, oh, they're so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, I get much more excited about, like, the artesian or the just vintage cool stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is cool. 14 karat. But it's like, hmm. It's not cool. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, look at this. Ooh, so cool. Like, I'd rather get some random Art Nouveau little piece that it has the same value. But it's just cool to, to F with. You know what I mean? I thought I kept a silver earring. I did. Oh, this is one of those heart beads, but I like it. I might put it on something. It's not silver. I don't know if I already looked at it, but I can tell you. I keep coming back to this heart. I'll probably put it in there and keep that heart. So one of these. Can I just take it off? Oh. Yeah, I can. I think I can just. I just don't want excess shit anymore. I'm going through my jewelry, bins, whatever. And like last night I went through. Yeah, see, just keep that heart. I'm a freaky for a heart. Um, and I'm going to lot up sellable wearable. I just have too much. I just have too too much. So I need to 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 lighten my load. I mean, was this cell St. Jude Toledo? Is that like Toledo, Ohio? The thing is broken. I didn't break. Unless this was part of the whole situation, and if it is, no. I just I would just take off. What should we use scissors for this? 
I mean, does somebody want a St. Jude? Maybe. Maybe some baby doesn't want that. Oh, I was trying to get this off. I might use this for my vape. I was trying to get this loose from... Um... I think this is just plastic. Yeah, I'm cranky, huh? That's because I don't feel good. But also, it's, it's true. Like, with those groups, it's like... And they've, I've had them be so helpful. Not the generalized, the specific, like the Jade group. I had no idea. It wasn't jewelry, but that tiny little, this big, with the carved jade lid. I had no idea it was like 200 years old. What kind of jade? Who, whoa, little, I mean, they just had all the info. I just buy pictures. You know, so there's, in the specialized group, same with Native American groups, you're going to get at least one or two people that are actually Native American, and they're like, grew up in reservations or had uncles and grandpas, blah, 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 that blah, blah, blah. So they know their shit. But in these generalized groups, like, oh, that's Sleeping Beauty, lucky. Google Sleeping Beauty. Just super easy. In five minutes, you can find out a lot about it. And again, and again, and again, and again. I don't know. Do you guys love Sleeping Beauty? I'm not, I just am not a fan of Robin's Egg Blue. Like I said, again and again. Love green turquoise. Um. I love discolored, like, just, like, if there's three stones, they're not all the... So, yeah, if you like a matchy-matchy, hand-on snatchy, then you're going to love Yawn Fest, Sleeping Beauty. The mountain is beautiful. The mountain itself is gorgeous. And that doesn't mean there's never going to be a Sleeping Beauty. It's just that was... That was what they also used in um, the Bell Trading Company. Used to be, I used to have lousy with those jewelry, like, I'm sorry, wash item reminder, um, Bell Trading Company. I think they've been around since the 50s, I'm not positive, but anyways, in the 60s and 70s, I was wearing all the jewelry, it was cheap, um, and it just, it was almost all, uh, Sleeping Beauty, which, okay, I'm about... I want my vape thing. I think this will work good. Well, I mean, I love it. But I don't have anything I love to hold my vape right now, so. Where's the scissors? This bitch get cut. I just didn't want to make the mess. Because it's this teeny fucking weenie little seed beads. Huh? It's too late. The mess is going to be made. There we go. See what I'm saying? Oh, I got my. Isn't she pretty? She's for sale. Vintage Betsy. Real heavy. Real bit. Oh, didn't I get a Betsy today? Yeah. Well, hmm. I guess it's not that it matches, but it takes two to make them go right. Who is that from? Sandra Bullock and what's his name that I love? Ryan Hills. Okay, well, that's for another time. We'll deal with the baby thing. So, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Almost done. Is he going to go on about... Oh, Sleeping Beauty. And again, doesn't mean there's no Sleeping Beauty. I love... Beauty Booty, yeah. I, I like the one that has still a little Pyrex Matrix in it. Um, veining, webbing... Mm -hmm. Matrix, whatever. Yeah, just like a... I like a... And I'm not actually... I don't mind... Sleeping Beauty, I believe, got its start in Persia. They still have Sleeping Beauty. Well, it's not Sleeping Beauty. It's the same color as Sleeping Beauty because Sleeping Beauty is called Sleeping Beauty because of the Sleeping Beauty Mountain. Um, but so many, like, anybody, like, some people, 
<laughs> I always like the Banana Republic. What is it about? BR? With the BR. I'll show you. I mean, I don't love this, but it's... They always make a cute thing. I don't know if I'd want to list this, though, because... It's too long. Like, I think what I'll do... I know what I'll do. If I can get these... I'm going to keep this chain for myself. Um... What was I saying? Oh, sleeping beauty. Oh, some, like, people will be like, oh, that, yeah, that turquoise is from China, which also has, you know, mine's turquoise. Like it's, yeah. or Persia. Iran, whatever. Persian turquoise. And I don't know. I, a pretty thing is a pretty thing. Do I skew towards Native American? Yeah, I do. Because I grew up with it. It just was the thing in the 60s and 70s. It's just what you wore. You know what I mean? And just what you owned and stuff. And I'll never get over the fact that I sold my mom's squash blossom that was my grandmother's for a hundred. Yeah, I was drinking back then. I was a dumb dumb. And then the lady called me back when I lived off of Crenshaw in LA. And she bought it, came paid me the hundred dollar. Then called me back because this is in the 90s, so before everything was there was no phones in it and said you know I don't think this is real I don't think it's real silver it's not marked I'm like you can bring it back if you want you know what I mean like why did she, I, don't know. I regret it because it didn't go to somebody who had any knowledge or appreciated it I'm stumped as to why she even bought it but I wanted the money and you know not to justify it, but that grandmother, my mom's mom, was so icky. I don't know how my mom came out okay. My mom's mom and dad were both as icky as it gets. And so there was no, like, sentimental value to it for me. A tool. Not a tool. But still, it was a stupid thing to do. Do I keep picking up the same earring? And do I put it in there? I don't know anymore. I don't know. All right, well, I'm going to go, and I'm not going to, don't worry, I'll tell you if, if the little thing was gold. Oh, I want to see, this could be silver, that's why I put it over there, looks like it, to me. I spy with my little eye, looks like a sterling piece. Again, this lot will easily be paid for, but it just was one of those, it was like, oh, I get oh yeah, the ribbon is good, so it's good. That's vintage. That a vintage of bits. Is something hanging on? No, that's part of this thing. I have to look at it closer. It's got the B. Of course, it's not the coolest of cool Betsy's. Like, the coolest of cool would be the black cats, um, or skulls, etc. But, if it's. It appears to be all there. If it's all there and it's not too perplexed by this piece. So not. It looks like it's just got put on there by somebody. I love the pink tulips. I don't even know if I have it straightened out. I don't think I do. No, I don't. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Yeah, these pink little plastic tulips. Love, love, love. There might not be tulips, guys. <laughs> Everything that's like that is a tulip to me. Tell me what it is. I'm horrible with flowers. Flowers, dog breeds. Uh, writing, spelling, all that stuff. I do have a pretty good grasp of how to use words correctly. But other than that, uh-uh. Okay, well, it's not straightening out. But yeah, it's, it's like, um, the little bees are cute. And they do, so this theme is really insects. This is just perplexing me, this leaf. This just looks like so not Betsy. This part of it all. Oh, Betsy, how are you, girl? I'm going through well. So, yeah, that was a good lock. And this could be gold. I'll try to remember to say it in the description. And this is gold. Oh, does it say something on the little bottom? Give me more information. I don't know what other. Well, this makes me sad. The one with the, oh, it says 14K. <laughs> At least give me the credit that when I picked it up, I said, uh, this isn't silver. This doesn't feel like sterling. It's, it's too shiny. It's 
not sterile. Never claimed to know what gold looks like. Still don't, never will. Especially white gold, even though my wedding ring is white gold. I've worn all my wedding rings, have, all two of my wedding rings have been white gold. So it's not like I've never owned it, but no, that's not it. Where's my wedding ring? No, it's, anyways, take my word for it. Um, and I got something else white gold recently that I was like, yeah, this is a cheapy thing. Because white gold has a, a weird thing about it. So cool. Not so cool, but okay, so cool. Yeah. I wanted the other box. Well, maybe the other $8 lot will have 14 karat gold and stuff too. That'd be good. Just they're not fun. Oh, and I love those little earrings whom I can't identify the name. It takes two to make them go round. Mm -hmm. Car X? I don't know. <laughs> car X. What are the Car X? How green is this? It doesn't look like it's not even vertigray. Vertig vertigray? It'd be funny if I, if I was like all expert, like, it's not even vertebrae. I mean, it looks like vertebrae, but it's not vertebrae. It's not. It's um, just worn whatever this, that's what happens with like brass. This isn't brass. Chinked up there. And I can say that that way, I believe. Let us pray. See, like the green but not vertigre. Yeah, it doesn't want to come. I just want to know what this Carax is. Carmax. Carmen? Maybe if I read it again, I'll see. Oh, I'm looking upside down. C-A-R-T-E-K. I think. Cartek? I swear to God, that's what it says. I know it says A R T E K. I think the first one is a C. I don't know why I'm sending so much time on it. I can't list it or sell it, but just things like this bug me. I don't know what the heck. Honey, honey, hey. Okay, I'm going. There is this little stuff left. I'll record if anything turns out, but I've, I've sort of gone through it and gone through it. And I don't think anything is going to become of it. <sighs> I'll let you know if this is sterling. Oh, these little things that I threw in here that I think are sterling. There's two of them. I'm not even going to test this for gold because it's, I mean, it might, but it's marked and marked and marked some more. So, and it has that feeling, which I'll start getting used to, of white gold. Because like I said, I got that other piece recently that was like, you know, this is cheapy, not sterling, shiny bead. <laughs> I think it looks. I guess I'm used to white or silver tone having a little, uh, you know, a little wear to it. A little, uh, what do you call that? Thingy. <laughs> I'm trying to find that other thing. Okay, guys. I've gotten way too long on this video. Sorry for the rant, but, and however, if you're, you know, if you're new to jewelry, I don't know, don't, don't put your stuff up. Like, if you want to just get, ask for this, they're helpful with this usually, it's generalized groups, no names named. If I put something that I can't read, like one of these things, like, what does that say? I get help with that. And Dr. Lori says to write it. I don't know if that would help me, like, see what you see and then write it. I haven't tried it. I love this bracelet. I'm keeping it because I just think it's cool. Um, yeah, just don't. If it's something specialized, take it to a jeweler first of all. Like I'll say, even with pearls, like there's all kinds of pearls. It's cultured pearls or salt water. There's fresh. There's that uakua or whatever those are. And, you know, you're not going to get an answer from somebody in a generalized group that's looking at them saying, Yeah, I had one like, like, like that, and that, and, and it was, you know, it looked like that. It's like, and not all things are created equal. Just, they're so not. Unless you're just 
modern or costume. Pretty safe with that. Pretty safe with that. But when you get into the higher end, stones and turquoise pearls, opals, jade, steer clear from those groups. Steer clear from getting, thinking you're going to get, you know, intelligent information, because you're not. There's no experts there. They're all just, you know, guessing. Same as you are. Yeah, I'm still trying to get... The, okay, I'm going to go. Hope this wasn't too crotchety. Because I haven't been up long. I've had two days of bad health. I don't know when I'm getting my surgery. Called today. It's weird. Kaiser's like only able to schedule exactly two weeks in advance. So the 24th, which is the date my doctor mentioned. She can't pull it up to see if it's a thing at all. So tick tock. Tick, 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 tock. All right, you guys. Maybe I'll have more jewelry later. I hope you guys are all well. I'm my pink bag on eBay. Although, if you ever want anything, best to email me at mybag05 at yahoo.com. Because I'm not going to put any of that in there. I don't remember and I don't know how to link it. I'm completely uh, a dimwit. That's still politically correct. I'm a dimwit when it comes to all those things. Memory, linking, yeah, tech things. Just no. So, yeah, because I would give you a better deal. eBay takes 10%. PayPal takes 3 I always round it up to 15 All right. This isn't a sales channel, though, but people do ask, and then I feel like an idiot for not saying... Okay, I'm going to turn the AC on. It's hot as a mofo up in here.